Come on, you nut. Hello, it's Alex. And I'm in my hallway. And I'm about to leave. <laughs> Not for good, obviously. I've just opened the garage. Harold's sat out here, but we're not working on that today. Oh, come on, door. Today, we are going to do a job on Mr. Jenkins. There he is. In fact, I could do a little update on Mr. Jenkins, because um, I stopped filming after a while. Yeah, hang on. Let me just uh, put you down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Isn't he looking good? Look at that. Not a bit of rust in sight. Amazing. Right, let's unclip you. There we go. So the new radiator, well it's not new, the repaired radiator is back and it's in but only loosely because it's a bit of an annoy annoying thing. <laughs> the valance is not back from the spray shop. And I can't bolt the oil cooler down until the valance is here bolted on because the screw holes there will be obs obscured. So I need the valance to come so I can fit the valance. Then I can't fit the radiator because I need to get my hand down there to do the nut and bolt up for the oil cooler. So it's a bit of a, a sort of tedious link. And obviously I can't put the radiator hoses on because I need to push that radiator out of the way. So I need to take that hose back off. I only put it on there for looks because I took a picture. Uh, I also want to put a new hose clip on there. This is a nice new old stock hose. Um, I've got one for the bottom as well. That's in the hallway. should have brought that with me. Although I can't fit here. So engine bay is done for now that, that's it i'm happy here yeah obviously the only thing i've got to do is bolt these things down once the balance is here but apart from that this is fantastic with the new stickers i sprayed this the other day because there was a little bit here that needed some filler so i filled it and i sprayed it and i'm really happy with it you really can't see it at all i, I honestly did a good job at that <laughs> sprayed all that give it a quick flash up the wing so it's all fresh obviously that's all still filthy dirty but that can just wait until he's out and i can hose it down because there's all going to be little bits of sort of metal metal filings in this dust and i don't want to rub that in the paint so we can wait wait till he's out um i tidied up under the bonnet as well i sprayed the edge and just give a little quick flash of paint underneath you know it needs a new insulation on there so i didn't go too mad uh what else have i done so we've got nice matching headlamps in now so we've got lucas with the lucas 75 full beam same on the side so we've got nice matching lamps i like that that's dusty so i painted the horns bright red um for no reason at all really apart from i had some spare red hammerite paint kicking about thought I'd tidy them up so all that bit there has been welded and painted and everything and all that bit there has been welded and painted and everything and then if I put the torch on which I put underneath here you can see the inner wing oh here we go so there's that patch I've welded in there that's a really neat job really happy with that um what's happened there oh it's just where i've rubbed something on it dirt or something um i haven't treated the suspension yet i'm just going to rub that all with lanagard um because we've got to get this poxy thing off that's my next job try and get that off that's going to be a pig but nice new flexi brake pipe on cleaned up the brake pipe a bit that's just copper grease on there um yeah the brake nipple was a bit seized but i managed to unseize that thankfully that, look at that all welded up all painted happy days unfortunately i spilt epoxy brake fluid on there 
that's all right it seems to be clean enough um so yeah i just need to give that a wipe off um yeah really happy with that really tidy and strong <laughs> which is the important thing so i welded those bits up in the corner as well so all i've got to do is stick some wax oil in the crevices change this arm pop the pads out give the brakes a little bit of a scuff down service and uh, yeah we all can go back on and then all, all I've got to do then is fit a splash guard here fit the rubber along there and then down there I've got that hole still to do in the sill but I need the sill cover off so we'll get to that eventually oh and I've got to get the side light wires back out as well but there you go update on Mr Jenkins let's see if this poxy arm's going to come off I've just been fighting with a split pin on this one I got most of the split pin out but I don't know if it's enough if we can maybe break the seal it's just not quite on the socket enough I can see all this ending in tears by the way <laughs> because um, it's so crusty oh. yeah this is gonna be hell isn't it absolute hell <laughs> oh boy Friggin' amazing. <laughs> right, well, let's set fire to it. The rubber's smoking well. Oh, it's sizzling. And that's coming undone. The power of the foot. I'm a bit like a monkey. I use my feet as uh, <laughs> um, hands, basically. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank God for that. And it didn't chip the paint. That's good. That means I could put, that means I put a good, decent, thick amount of uh, paint on there. But it's uh, it's not damaging. That's great. I mean, this is only a small um, amount of happiness because we've still got the uh, we've still got the actual splitting of the ball joint. They could be welded together. We shall see. Now, it's good to leave the nut. If you're doing any of these steering joints, these ball joints, let me show you. Here we go. Still smoking. If you're undoing any of these sort of ball joints and things. Um, you should try and leave the nut on the end of the thread then you can hit the nut and sometimes it can release it so if I get to me mallet so you can you can hit that not a lot of room to hit but we can hit that and we can hit here a good sharp hit there sometimes can free them off
but as predicted this one is solid another tool we've got is a ball joint splitter so this fella here put that way around so you wedge that bit in get rid of the rubber and wedge it in there and then you put that piece there on the end of the nut and then you do this nut up and it's meant to to split them so I'll try hitting it a couple more times and uh, pardon me if that don't work I'll try the splitter I think mud falling out of the coil spring yes as predicted it is absolutely solid 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 as a rock Bum, 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 bum. So we're replacing this so the rubber can sod off. And I apologise if you can't see a lot. Can you? Can you see? No, it's behind that strut there. Hang on, let me swap you over here. Okay, so you should should be able to just see that now. Oh, this is going to be a pig, isn't it? Okay. <clears throat> it's just the angle of the blooming thing. Can't quite get it. No such word as can't. <laughs> so, bang that round a bit. Just about got it on the end of that nut. Is it going to work? Probably not, because it's right on the edge of the nut, so I think the whole thing's going to go twang and scare me. Because a lot of pressure goes through this. <laughs> I'm scared. Why am I scared? Oh, I think it's popped. I think it's actually popped. Can't get my bloody span off now. So if I just unwind it a little bit. Yes, she's popped. Oh, that's fantastic. Am I undoing that or doing it that? Oh, looks like the whole bloody thing's spinning. Oh, that's a pain. Come on, you. Don't do this to me. Oh. I might have to cut this off because now, because I've been beating it, I've obviously damaged it. It is loose, thank God. Um, but the I'm just checking it's not hot. Oh, we're okay. Like the inside pin is just spinning, so I can't undo the bloody nut. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? something in there I can feel it spinning oh that's annoying we're so close so close oh, oh yeah I got the mole grips on nutty is coming off 
Nutty McNut Face. Fantastic. So one side done. We just got that one up the top, which thankfully hasn't got a split pin on. And it looks like it's falling apart anyway, so fingers crossed. The other one is gonna come undone nicely. Oh, I was worried it was gonna be hot. Right, that's off now. I'm pretty sure the new arm comes with new castle nuts. But if not, I better keep hold of that. Twang! There he is. <laughs> One knackered. And get you in there to see. One knackered steering arm. Well, one end of it. So let's try and get you in there so you can see the next challenge. The socket's on there. Can we get the ratchet in there? Oh dear. There is not a lot of room. Not a lot of room. Oh dear. <laughs> now, of course, I can't use my foot for this one. Oh, there's movement there. Oh, I did soak the thing in oil for several days. Gosh, you're not getting a lot of turn on this. I have got a spanner I could try and use, but I thought the socket would be better. Ooh, especially to uh, start it off anyway. Ooh, okay, I wonder if I can get a spanner in there. I bet the socket don't want to come off now. Pardon me, that's the problem. Yeah, I'm literally getting one little click. Or oh, a couple of clicks. Come on, you nut. How on earth am I going to get this to break? I have no idea. to this one. Right, we need to try and get my socket back now. Yes! How far away is that? Uh, what size was that? Oh yeah, three quarter. Oh, I love my ratchet spanners. Absolutely. go so again I've left the nut on there because I can see this being a pig because look you can't really get the hammer in don't you be damaging my paintwork you <laughs> really what I want to hit is that get to it oh, okay mm, this is fun isn't it I just heard my washing machine um, alarm go off so my washing's done come on off you go I won't even be able to get my ball joint breaker in there oh, it's so mangled no wonder it failed uh, let's just have a look at the ball joint breaker to see. Oof. Oh, it's going to be tight. <laughs> Very tight. I don't think it's going to go in there. I don't think there's enough room with a spring and everything. That's a pain in the bum. Hmm, maybe if I just take this bolt out for a minute. 
maybe spin it round there. <laughs> Why didn't I put my hand there to hold it? It's a knob. Let's get in position. Wow, the ball joint breaker is in place. We might get away with this, you know. We might just get away with it if it wasn't for the pesky kids. And bloody kids. Um, is that three quarter inch as well? Yeah. Go on, my son. This is going to go twang in my face, isn't it? Mmm. Face, Dad. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> Dad was a bit worried about this job. I think he, he thought it looked really, really hard. And to be fair, it was pig awkward. Um, but by the power of Graceful, I think I have bloody gone and done it. And it's not spinning like the other one, the other edge. You see? hope that this doesn't affect the tracking. These aren't track rods so it shouldn't affect it. Look at that. Ah, oh, Dad will be so proud of me. That is one knackered old steering arm so <sighs> what a relief it's out. Better go and find the new one. Make sure it's the same. <laughs> They look the same. There we are, there's my new old stock fella. Look, made in England. Paid a fortune for it rather than getting the uh, new repo versions because I know this one probably lasted nearly 70 years. So, got a nice new old stock one. It's got new castle nuts and washers and everything. Happy days. Let's get it on. New arm. Put a bit of grease on there. Nice. Oh, it's all stiff and new. Let me get a castle nut up here. Beautiful. What's that one on? Oh, solid. Newness. You don't know how blimmin' relieved I am. <laughs> Putting the new one on is so much easier because you haven't got to beat it with a hammer because pulling it in with the nut. Oh, my. Am I the wrong way? Oh no, that was the right way. Um, yeah, it pulls in with the nut, whereas when you're undoing it, you you, uh, you need to bash it you can. <laughs> you don't have to bash it in, which is nice. Right, now they're tightened up, we're going to find the uh, split pin hole. So you might have to slacken them off ever so slightly just to try and find the split pin hole. 
I will go and try and find some split pins. Hang on. <laughs> right, so I've faffed about for a little bit and I found the holes. So split pin in and um, yeah, some, some, some people have the split pin that way and they bend the split pin over the bottom. Um, but I tend to go to the sides. So I wrap round each side like that. Um, the steering arm is done. So what I'm going to do on here is do a bit of wax oil, put some liner guard on the suspension, and um, give the little brake pads a clean up, and the wheel can go back on. So brilliant! Thanks for watching. Bye. Dirty head. <laughs> uh, I've already said goodbye, but before you go, I'll just show you what Mr. Jenkins is looking like now. So I've put the rubber seals on the wing, I've serviced the brakes, uh, wax oiled the crevices, lana guarded the suspension, and put the wheel back on. So come and have a look. There we go, he's back on all four wheels on his tippy toes. You can see his purpleness if you haven't seen it before. Very glittery purple. Wheel is back on. <sighs> I've lost one of my dice, you know. I've lost one. I've had to put a torpedo on the other side. So there we go, all wax oiled, all um, lana guard. Is it lana guard brings it up nice, takes away that orange rust. Uh, you can see the old hammerite paint that I used years ago fitted the splash seal on there nicely and I trimmed the screws down on the back because they were very long Ooh, a bit of blue roll uh, uh, ugh, gross and then I've wax soiled it in there so that's gonna be all right very nice and we got the wing seal along the top of the wing and down there I've got to sort these wires out I'm not happy with how they look but I'll do that another day Apart from that, it is all together and I am very happy, very happy. So all I've got is that one hole down there, D posts and wow, that's it really, woohoo! And once again, thanks for watching, bye! If you're still watching, just leave. Um, leave me. Hey, it's if you can find it. Either say the word or leave the emoji of a pumpkin. Because when I look for an emoji of a pumpkin, I can't find it. So comment down below pumpkin or the emoji pumpkin. Be interesting to see how many people can find that emoji.